Chicago. Do I? How do you figure? Hello, pinballs, pinball peoples, YouTube channel people. Mike's falling asleep in a chair. I am tired, wow. It's gonna get worse, right? Is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Starting next week, I have the puppy. What, springtime now? You know, most people get their puppies when they're eight weeks old. I get mine when it's two and a half weeks old. Yeah. Which means I gotta be down there at 7.30 in the morning to greet it, or 7.15. It'll be your buddy. It's gonna grow bigger than I hope market. it lives. Um, it's not, yeah. um, not here's, the puppy yet. here's the puppy report. Um, Still no symptoms of the of the dog killer, but the we're having a problem with Lucy is not producing much in the way of milk. Oh. Well, how do you feed the dog? Well, you don't. I mean, she's nur she's the puppy's nursing, but it's kind of like. When do you stop that? I don't, I, I don't know. I'm not familiar with. Um, me neither. I mean, we got our little dog uh, Shadow when she was six weeks old or something. Right. Well, after the, after it's weaned from his mother, it's, at, it's supposed to be eight weeks. I think. Eight weeks. I think it's then supposed to be eight weeks. Maybe that's what we got. I don't know. It's only this big. Right now, there's no other option than it just needs to nurse, and it's getting a little bit because it is putting on weight, but uh, okay. it's not really getting as it's not putting on weight the way it should. It's still very tiny. Okay. Um, her name is Sally. She's very cute. Okay. She's named already because for some reason, <sighs> the first day I was there. I picked up one and I gave it a name and I don't know why. And it's this one. It's the one that's left. So, what else is there to say about it? Lucy's very, uh, her personality has changed. She's, she's very uh, on edge, uh, anxious, um, pretty upset dog. Hopefully that will reside. It's probably because she hasn't been down well, her whole her whole routine got screwed up, and yeah. she popped out nine puppies, and eight of them died. She um, knows that. And she knows that, yes. So she's freaked out. Um, it has affected her, but hopefully she'll be all right. That's the puppy news. For I guess every you know the people that are watching, they can care about the puppies too. I guess some of them do. I don't care. It's my film. Okay. And yours. Primarily your film, though. Okay. Even though it seems like I'm the one that pushes it. It's this, you know, it's your business. That's a Sinistar board. <laughs> I've seen it before. You don't want to... But yeah, no no bad news with the puppy. I held the puppy. It's cute. Sinistar. Well, yes, we're not working on Sinistar boards. Sinistar board. Okay. So, uh, so, uh, carry you, on. What is it? I don't know, man. Did you look at any of these comments? <laughs> I read all of it. You want to start with, you want to, you want to start with uh, the good or the bad, or you want to argue with somebody? I don't, or you I, want to do no, that? I don't care. Way. Whatever you want to pick. Let's, let's go in the order that it happened. First. I don't know what that means. That means he was first. Oh, first. Lucas was the first to comment. Okay. So I read it backwards because I read the top page first. That's right. Okay, fine. Natural progression. If you guys sold board component kits, I would actually buy that. Oh, Great Plains Electronics sells them. I'm not in the uh, mindset to package that. Okay, dig it. Well, we'll get to it um, when we start running out of junk to sell. Yeah, I mean, they're available, and Great Plains Electronics has a nice kit for most uh, board rebuilds, um, power I supplies, am and stuff. Killing it on eBay. I'm killing it. Have you noticed? Mm hmm. You don't look very excited about it. I'm tired. <laughs> excited, tired. Um, you got nothing else to say about the eBay? I'm killing it over there. Yeah. Right, They're helping people find what they want. Shit. You keep bringing me junk oh my. that people want, apparently. It's not junk. I told you that remote would be all right. That was silly. It was. Yeah, I did a nice job on him. <laughs> Joe Zankis. Uh-huh. He was third to comment. Okay. Joe doesn't really like me that much. He doesn't bring it up. But I remember. <laughs> I don't know. Who he is, I don't want to hold grudges or anything, but I do remember. Okay. I don't remember the, the, the details of it don't matter. Um, speaking of that, 
The Black Knight situation is starting to piss me off. Wait. Well, that ain't on there. That, that ain't even in here. But just hold that thought for... We, we may revisit that one later. Not tonight, though. We'll save that and see, see how the next step goes. I was a little bent about that. But you know what happened, so we might have to talk about that later. This episode is progressing really slow. Yeah, we only got a half hour. Come on. <laughs> uh, this is an opinion. It's fact. We'll come back to that one. Um, Todd Harrison. Todd Fun. ToddFun.com. Right. From now on, when we say Todd, it's this guy. Yeah. Because I like this guy. Okay. The other guy, we don't need, you know, we don't need to mention him by name. Everybody knows who he is. He doesn't need to be Todd, even though oh. he is Todd. So Todd is now this guy. Okay. You, all right. You with me on that? All right. We, we like Todd. Okay. My God, I am not reading this long, but very nice message on here. Right. You saw what it was about. Did, was there any highlights in there that you want to comment on? Did yeah. You, you um, probably learned a couple things from reading that, didn't you? Yeah. You didn't know there was an adapter for them little chippy chips, did you? Yeah, but I disagree with him as far as uh, soldering surface mount devices. Some of them have pin spacing of less than 20 thousandths of an inch. And it's easy to bridge solder across. And if you're on there with solder wick, you're heating the board up, eventually the dielectric green uh, surface will give up and you'll have a mess. I have no idea what you said, but he did. Yeah. Um, okay, so well, that's cool. if he is comfortable with it, I tried it before. I have done spider chips on Gottlieb System 1 boards. I've done. Um, uh, surface mount devices on motherboards, computer motherboards, which is very sub-miniature stuff, and I don't, I don't feel comfortable doing it. And half of the, t well, not half, but at least sixty. Well, no, maybe forty. I have a problem with heat on them boards, surface mount boards. But anyway, uh, if he wants those, there they are. Yeah. Um Hey Todd, I think I have your address, but save me the trouble of finding it and message Those it to me. Those are obsolete, by the way. Message it to me as well, whatever. Uh, message me uh, your address again, please, and I'll send you whatever these are. There's a guy on eBay selling them for eleven forty nine a piece. There's thirty in there. Okay. Well, do you mind if I give them away? Yeah, okay. Does that bother you? Because no. I don't want to put them on eBay. No, I don't. I didn't pay eleven forty nine. Well, whatever. Can, can I give them surface? Yes. Yeah, surface mount devices are more expensive because they're they're more miniature, but. Yeah. Yeah, he, he can have them. They're, they're, uh, I have the equivalents in 4093s. Yeah, you don't want those. Do you don't, like you don't need them. They're in the way, yeah. um, sitting yeah, up in no, that box. That's fine. He's okay. cool. They're on their way He's to good you. with me. Um, I, I really appreciate the comments that he leaves because he's trying to be helpful um, to... I mean, he adds to the... The program is better with his comments yeah, it is. being on them. So everybody, go read the comments from last week from Todd. Good job. Hi, Todd. You must read the Dilbert then. Huh? You must oh, was that there for me? Yes, you must read the Dilbert. Gene gave it to me. All right. It's, uh, you know, it's copyrighted or whatever. My hobby is restoring old cars, says, <laughs> says I don't know who this guy is, but he's holding a cup of coffee. <clears throat> I don't either. That strikes me as slightly less useful <laughs> <laughs> than Wally's hobby of doing absolutely nothing. Yeah, less, slightly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Do you, so then the other guy says, <laughs> do you restore other kinds of garbage? Garb <laughs> or just cars? <laughs> right. That's a good one. <laughs> oh, man. Yes, the answer would that be yes, we restore other kinds. Of, we used to restore other kinds of garbage. All right, I don't know if I'm in order anymore. Okay. Sam Parker. Uh, pinballsearch.com. I went to pinballsearch.com. It's a little page that he put together to uh, help people find parts. Parts vendor. Um, it's, parts, like, it's like a parts hub Procurement, yeah. for, you know, find a part. Yeah. Uh, I went there, um, I searched for some things. Right. Uh, for example, getaway plastic set. Um, and uh, what is that, ministry pinball, pinball ministry, whatever? Yeah. Uh, they popped up and they Ministry of pinball. And they do have it. We need to, we need to order as many of those as they'll let us have for real because you can't get them anywhere else so uh, we need a set and however many more they'll sell us okay feel me on that mm -hmm. um, 
but I used this little thingy and it worked. But it didn't You're find me. You're writing a note so I can order that. But it didn't. It didn't. Fi yeah, I know. Uh, it didn't find me parts that don't exist. Okay. Like T2 plastic set. It did not find that because it don't exist. Okay. Pinballsearch.com. And Sam. We didn't watch the rat thing yet. Cool for Sam. Yeah, I'm going to watch that. Can we take a break? Like, you know, let's take like a half of an evening off. Like, wrap up around 2 o'clock in the afternoon, call it a day, uh, grab a six pack of beer, and sit down there and enjoy that nice shit we got. Johnny Mnemonic movie. Or maybe you could pick the movie. Do you feel me on Don't that? Don't pick Sharknado either. <laughs> yeah, I do. Yes. Okay. PBR. Oh my god, he wrote all that. The Shronster. Yeah, I read it. Did you read did mm -hmm. you get anything out of there that. Strikes me? He wants yeah. to send you his whole high-speed pinball. <laughs> yeah. Um, please see the description <coughs> section for a link to PBR's Kickstarter page. He's trying to get people to sponsor the making of his own pinball machine. Okay. So why not? I don't care. Uh, don't look to me for money, though. I don't have any. Oregon. Uh, he's also. I think he also has a fund me page or a, something else. He wants uh, people to try to help him buy a police force. He wants a police force. Oh yeah, good yeah. choice. Vortex Arcade. Did you read his little thing? Yeah. Okay. That's good. Yes. It's not blinking yet, is it? No. What are we doing in this episode? I guess I'm, I'm almost through my notes. Though. Well, okay, yeah. Uh, Jeff 4130, which is Chrome Molly, by the way, for like BMX bikes and shit. Yeah. Let's not all thumbs down the video, please, Jeff. <laughs> That's what he said, yeah. yeah. Let's all thumb down the next video. Pete Bell. I like Pete. He's radical. He's come out from under something in London. He was in yeah, but you know who went under the... He, he, he came out from underneath the rock and somebody else went under the rock. Oh. Who's missing? Michael? No. No. Is he, is he still ring your phone? Because he don't ring my phone anymore. Do we have any nutty friends that ring our phone and send us funny Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's he doing? Come on, dude. I don't know. I don't know where he's at. It's, um... Pete's back. Bobby Joe Jack's missing. Yeah, Bobby. Missing in action. Okay. Uh, Mark Modre. Have you ever heard that saying? Mm-hmm. Okay. Adam DIY. I ask great questions. I find that hard to believe. Uh, I answered his question. I sent him the link to. I. It was the other day. It's a one. It's a 156 header. It's a one. Technically, it's a 156 connect connector header, right? The little. These. The headers. Yeah. Yeah, headers. Because that's that's the technical term, mm -hmm. and to be and then a 156 is point, yeah. point and that's the, and that's the die. If you put a micrometer on them, they're going to be somewhere near that. Spacing between the pins. Okay. There, you learned something. Beauty. Um, puppies. We already did the puppy puppies. report. Surely not. 1969. Mm. I liked it when you forced Ray to explain stuff in the basic idiot language. Like this does that, and that does this, and this does the other thing. Uh, he really appreciated that. Okay. Um, so, thanks for uh, stepping up and saying you weren't the only person who had no idea what you were saying. Because I uh, needed a die. Oh, come on, man. Listen, a diode lets things go one way and not the other. It's like a one-way gate. Correct, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I know what a diode does. Well, there you're all set. The capacitor holds vol hold, stores voltage. Stores? No. Mm -hmm. See? I don't know. You know what a capacitor does? It stores voltage? Depends. Several different kinds. It's generally used as a filter or... Yeah, generally a filter. 
depends on the application. That's like, I don't know. What's on your parts list over there for the rebuild on the... Uh, so you, you pointed at the camera, but you didn't tell me what's on there. Like, what, what, what kind of parts are on that thing? Capacitors, headers, um, resistors, and fuses, and two diodes. Okay. And the note pertains to the book callouts for what location the parts are at. So if you look close at it, do I gotta untape it again? No. You can if you want, I don't care, it's your show. If you look close at it, there's part locations if you have a book it tells you what the um, location well, three like 3j3 is a location on yes board. it is that's a connector that's like where a connector right. is that's right c15 is where is as a capacitor location it's probably Correct. marked on the board it is no it's marked in the book the old boards didn't have uh, any markings. On, the, on the newer boards it's marked it is they started doing that okay. the old boards nothing well that, there you go that's helpful for somebody yeah. So you need the book to use this, and it'll tell you where they go and what the values are. And this is uh, some a good rebuild uh, procedure, that good components uh, to use on the old power supplies. Okay. Right. Well, that wraps that up. What else do you want to talk about? We've got, i got to refund some shipping because I'm kicking ass on eBay, right? Yeah, any combined shipping when people buy uh, multiples, we refund yeah, the when they over duplicate amount or yeah. some sort of reasonable refund. If they overpay for shipping, right, it's I small, kick them back. but it counts. Yes. Listen, I don't do it. I don't micromanage it down to if somebody overpays by a dollar fifty. I don't. Right. I don't call you on that. Right. But in this case, they paid like thirteen, and it cost me six. Right. Uh, that's double, you know, and they deserve. A refund there, mm -hmm. I think. Well, they're getting one anyway. So that covers that. You can either start with the show, or if you want to talk about, if you want to talk about the one thing I left out here, you can do that. Uh, whatever. No, not really. I mean, uh, I guess Big Dog has come in on the power supply thing. He's a fan of the old power supplies, which is fine, and he makes issue of um, the components or. Um, Rate underrated. In other words, they're uh, they're not they're not made to handle the, comp the the current and the voltage that they're passing through. In other words, there's no buffer there. It's not like we're using a 50 volt capacitor where a 25 or 35 is needed. So, um, and he's mentioned in the high voltage section over and over again, which drives your plasma displays, which more and more is becoming a, a less of an issue anyway, uh, because Plasmas are probably not going to be made that much longer. Mm. Um, they're going to, pro huh? Mm. They're probably going to disappear like it did for the consumer TV uh, market. You can't get hardly any plasma TVs. Go try to get one brand new. Not, not there anymore. And this stuff is going to LEDs more and more. So plasmas, I don't think. I'm not sure what their future is going to be if you're going to buy them. I'll tell you one thing that's going on, the price is way higher than they used to be. Because these uh, six digit Williams displays, which are these, these displays used to be $25, $30 10 years ago. Now they're double that. Or more. Yeah, well, it's supply and demand. 16 digit version of this for alley machines anymore. is not made anymore. They don't make the big uh, no. Slowly but surely. They don't make lot. that anymore either. Uh, I think there's still some, you can still get some from Pinball Resource. Yeah, but they don't make them anymore. No, probably not. He probably has that. No, he's just got uh, whatever stock he's got left. So, no more. in response to his uh, back and forth quibbling about the power supply issue and high voltage, if you short the high voltage, that New power supply won't handle it. That's a mute issue soon, because this stuff's going to be gone. Uh, not that I want to argue it, but um, it's neat that he's aware of uh, manufacturers that are making things that are probably not up to. You know what I would rather see him do? What? I would rather see him invest some time in sitting down and making a display 
for uh, check length. Who? This guy. Oh, well, I don't know. Uh, you know, or, you know. I don't know if it's possible. If he knows so much, how, how could it not be possible? There it is. Oh, you wanted to. F I'm not going to stop my clock. So, do you know what that is? No, it's a tune. It's German or something. You don't know what that is? No. Okay. See if somebody can answer it. I know what it is, oddly enough. Um, it's but, old music. But I have, I, but I have, out, well, I have elderly parents. Listen, uh, okay. I, I thought about it and I figured it out today. Pop's 97. 97. Because he was born in 19, 1, 3, 19. So that's 81 and 16, that's 97. 1, 3, what? 19, 1, 3, 19 is his oh, birthday. Oh, 1, 3, 19. 19, 19. Yes. Oh my God. So that's why I know what that tune is. Wow. Uh, and also, like the tick-tock of it um, is uh, prevalent in the soundtrack. I, I actually took uh, last week's music and I, I sped it so that it was a, either 60 or 120 beats per well, minute. I fixed so it. that it was synced with the tick tock. I fixed the clock. It, it was broke. Does it keep time? Yeah, it, it's fine. Good job. It's nine o'clock. Uh, I don't know how accurate it is. Yeah, it's within a few minutes. I haven't forwarded the hand or back. It's pretty decent. I fixed it and I wanted it to work, so I fixed the other one upstairs, which is really older than that. That's that was from the 80s. That's not that old. All right. There's a lot of babble in this video. What are we doing? Where's our boards? Where are we the boards are up here. Um, What's the you, plan? If you want to go over one, uh, pick one. Do you want a sound card? An MPU? Or how about that board I gave you today? That's the easiest, easy one. It's little. It's a speech board. Ray Williams pinball and it uh, hooks onto the system uh, 7 or version 2, whatever you want to call the square board. Okay. Um, I don't think we got one up there. I've got a test monkey for that down at the shop, by the way. Right. Um, these ribbon cables go bad occasionally and they are available from Great Plains Electronics, I believe, or from Bob Roberts, the real Bob Roberts. The real? Bob yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that's as opposed, all about. As opposed to the not real. Yeah, Bob the not real Bob Roberts. Yeah, I had some around here. <laughs> Who the hell is really? the real? Well, the real Bob Roberts, please stand up. Yeah, see this? This is you know uh, what that the is? real Bob Roberts. See it? See it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's what it, that is what it says. Okay, well, these are the cables. Um, they come with the uh, solder header. Good luck with that. That's kind People of... were, were wondering if we were ever going to get to the tech tips portion of this video. <laughs> At least I was. The tech tips. <laughs> Just yap it on, reading viewer mail. Well, these boards have problems with chip sockets, usually. 24-pin mm -hmm. chip sockets. You probably have to redo the chip sockets, replace them. Uh, the ribbon cable doesn't go bad too often on these. Um, these two little chips go bad here. They're some kind of mixer chips or something. Uh, they're not too bad to find. They're 8 pin. What are these things? They are RC4558. You got a soundboard in that system? Can you even No, tell? I cannot. Okay. Why not? Oh, well, I don't. No. Well, then... You just don't happen to have one now. Yeah. You can you can hook one up to it though, right? Mm -hmm. It's better to test it in the game. Okay. You know, I meant to before I brought it, but then I said, no, nah, it's already marked. It was marked twice. It said tested working, and then it said uh, bad cable. Hmm. And somebody, you know, somebody crossed out tested working and bad cable. You can replace a little like lytics on it. They're one at fifties, I believe. They will do. They help filter noise out because it is a speech board. Okay, would that be part of the maintenance job? You got a maintenance? Uh, yeah, I do. I put them in. So, what's your full maintenance uh, call for that? Which is an otherwise a good working board. We well, think. one, two, three, four, five electro electrolytics, and I think they're one at fifties. 
they are. They're for different values. Um, Non-working, it's worth fifteen dollars, and working, it's worth eighty. I would say the little electrolytics, Three the count. four of them. Okay. And I would say the chip sockets. I don't think this is needed. Really? No. It was your note. Hmm? It was your note. No, I mean for regular work. Oh, okay. I don't think you need that for regular work. They, they do fail when people yank them off, you know. But not usually. I haven't replaced a lot of them. Okay. This particular one probably does need it. And these are my patented. No. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> they were on there. <laughs> well, you know, the old stickers, you couldn't read them. I mean, you could see that they were there. True. But you just couldn't. They're probably, they're, you didn't reprogram those, did you? Probably not. They come in two versions. These are EPROMs. They come with uh, PROMs. PROMs tend to fail in these. So, uh, and the, the pins are like silver and they get black and they're very thin and they rot right off. You've seen it already. Mm -hmm. So, um, EPROMs have zinc plated pins and they tend to be thicker so they don't do that. But the files can be loaded onto EPROMs from the old PROMs if you have a burner or reader. Or you can go on the internet at the moment I guess that they're still on there. Who knows? Uh, there really ain't anything else to say about this. It, it isn't susceptible to cold solder joints. And the traces are fairly thick on these 80s boards, so it doesn't tend to tear traces apart doing the solder work. So a pretty easy board to service? Yeah, pretty easy board to do. There's not much here. Okay. And there's no components that aren't available. This 14-pin chip is a... Uh, well, that actually might not be available. <laughs> what? Yeah, the 555 chip. You might have to hunt for that if that goes bad. I've never had too many bad at all. I don't know what it does. It's some sort of speech chip. I think it balances speech between sound. I don't, I don't know, but that's what this volume control is. Yeah, up or down, you can, yeah, you can get the speech to be louder than the background of the machine, or the other way around, depending on your um, preference. Do you clean those? Is there some something you do to clean those, or do you... these pots? Yeah. Yeah, you can. They use... go bad. They they got to go bad. Yeah, you can replace them. It's a 5K pot. It's it's a uh, a two pin. Well, I guess these are just grounds, but it's just a two pin pot, trimmer pot. Hmm. Um, the new one you get might not have a handle on it. You might have to buy the handle because the handle's built. Might have one of those screw holes. Yeah, the screw here. holes you can get the. You can get the pot for the handle. I think I got them. Well, show people what they look like. I guess I got them. Did you hear the part about me having to be at work at 7.30 in the <laughs> morning? Yeah. Yeah, I did. <laughs> How's that work? You, you think I'm tired now. Wait till you see what that looks like. Oh, my. Uh, crap, I don't have any. I thought I did. Uh show's going to hell. I guess that covers this. What do you do if that pot's bad? You go on Mauser and order another one. Okay, and you're out. It's got a 5K trimmer pot. You're out of them. Yes, I am. Okay. I would imagine uh, if you want to get into the other half of this board next week, we could tie it in with this and then demonstrate it. Oh, what do you mean, the uh, System 6 board? Yeah, uh, the, the, six, seven? the sound board? Yeah. There's one in there. The square. Hmm? I found, what, 15 more, I got, or whatever I counted. Oh, there's one in here? Yeah, you got one. Oh, there it is. You I can test it, it if you want. It might work. You got time? I didn't see it, Michael. Let's plug it in. It might work. All that stuff might work. Pins are bent. How do you straighten the pins? Well, I like to use this. This looks like duck bills, don't it? Mm -hmm. It's not. If you look close, there is no teeth on it. Deja vu, we've done this before. And you don't want to use ones with teeth because they mark up. These have no teeth. Components. Okay. They're electronic duck bills. Done it before? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm.
This is all redundant now. This is for new viewers. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, well, yeah. Hey, maybe it didn't sink in the first time. These have no teeth. Okay. They're electronic. I have no idea how a capacitor works. What's inside those things? Um, round di paper discs with chemicals on them. And the chemicals are dielectric and some conduct and they're stacked like little wafers and how big the cap is is how many discs are in it. We could cut one apart and be Todd fun. He could, did he do it? Did Todd do it? I don't know. Probably. If you really want to see a show, you plug it into the wall. Check it out. <laughs> if we don't explain it well enough, he will in the comments section. So thank you, Todd. Yes, do it, Todd. we got to rely on Todd. Not to be not to be yeah. funny, but that's helpful. Yeah, it is. It's neat. I like the idea of there being a, uh, an adapter that you can plug that... <laughs> adapter? Here for these little itty bitty chips. <coughs> I found out today was Tuesday. That didn't happen until after like 5 30, 6 o'clock. 5 30. <laughs> Sorry to break that news to you. Yeah, it's cool. Because you ruined my day if it would have been Wednesday because I, I have two service calls now. Today I stayed off the road. I got wet at home instead. Did I tell you I synced the music with your cuckoo clock? Yeah, you did. That wasn't that easy to do. It's funny, Mike. Nobody appreciated it. Nobody did? No. But they weren't meant to. I was just... Well, to answer your question, it does not work. <laughs> <laughs> None of the above. Dead. Dead. Cool. Fuses aren't blown, but it don't work. Oh, that's too bad. I am pushing the test button, which makes it go through sounds and speech. Okay. Well, well you didn't there think you so. It. it was in the it was in the pile. Okay. Well, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the other end of the board is uh, they look like this. They're in the machine like this. Would the sound board have worked without the auxiliary board on that? No. Would have made any. Wouldn't done anything. Right. Um, the point that you're making is good because some of these aren't meant to work with these, so they're jumper different. Uh -huh. uh, you have to change jumpers. Uh -huh. uh, and then this this label that's wore off of this is your sound chip. Um, what that is is that is. That is this. Here's sound drum five. Okay. Uh, there is sound drums make different sounds in different machines. They get they are used along with the speech chips. Not everyone is the same. Here is um, well, first off, sound drum one through five is what they have. There's sound drum one, three. And here's sound drum two. And if you look at that, that's an original Black Knight. That's sound drum five. Is used in Black Knight. Okay. It just has. You can put different ones in if you're into it. Um, It'll make different noises. It won't. Matter. Yeah, you know how the noises are in them yeah. Williams games. Nothing like the Bally. In my book, the Bally Squawk and Talk was a Squawk and Talk board, and their vocalizer boards and their sounds plus boards and all them other ones were better than anything these guys did and for sure better than anything Gottlieb did but anyway so, this this board has to be jumpered to acknowledge this board which but, it is yeah I don't think uh, this board has uh, that problem it could be a PIA they fail um, the processors yeah, yeah, that, that, I know what that stands for peripheral interface adapter they could be the uh, the processors on these go bad. They're notorious. I don't to think go I was going elsewhere with that, right? Were you? Yeah. Well, it's I don't. A, it's the PIA chip. PIA. Yeah. The LOL. I don't get it. R O R O F R. Rolling on the floor, laughing.
laughing my ass off. Uh, R O F. You're not into these little and and. Uh, uh, no, I'm not. Uh, pain in the ass. Ah, uh, the processors PLS. go bad. The 68. P O S. P O S. Point of sale. That's what people. <laughs> that means point of sale. Uh, it comes from my office equipment days. Sorry. The processor is a 6808, I believe, okay. and they do go bad quite a bit. Mm. This is notorious to go bad. This is a 6810 RAM chip, and when you replace these, you socket them, of course. If this has Scanby sockets, which is a certain type of socket, which we, we've gone over, they, they should be replaced, not used, period. Being the old-fashioned obsolete type. Yeah. And they should be um, replaced with whatever, what's yeah. it called, the, the, new, the new stuff. Open, from, open uh, rail. From uh, Great Plains. Yeah, or Mauser. You can get chip ICs. And then you also put a uh, cap kit on this board. There's several electrolytics have to be replaced. Um, now, so what's your plan of attack there to make that those pieces work? Plan of attack would be mm -hmm. to first do the caps. So you're not going to you're going to do all the maintenance work. Correct. You're not even going to go looking no. for the problem. No. You're just going to do all the maintenance work. Right, because it has to be done anyway. Including and generally, including socketing those three chips. Replace. You're going to replace all that stuff. Correct. Okay. If you don't, you're on and off of a test bench or your soldering station too many times. Do it all now. Makes sense. Um, you can static check the bridge diode, rec bridge rectifier here, which is the black thing. You can static check that before. They don't often go to bad. decide if you want to. Or not. Right, right, right. You can static check the amplifier if you want. Because um, uh, you said they're not available. Is that is that the amplifier's available? Is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can check some of the transistors if you if you like. They generally don't fail. Uh, I guess that's where I would start. I would do the caps first and. Um, socket the chips and when I would socket these three chips I would rotate them in and out one at a time to find out which one's bad. Okay. I would suspect if after I did my maintenance work it still didn't work then I would rotate these out one at a time on the test bench to find that out. And it's you're confident that it's probably one of those. Right. Because you got to keep in mind things on it. You got to keep in mind when you're repairing old unknown boards. God knows where this came out of. It wasn't ours. Who knows? How many years? How much it's been handled in parts bins and thrown around? You got to look for handling damage. Okay. Tra tray scratch through. Yeah. Um, so so you got to remember you got to look for basic stuff before you give this. You don't just start doing maintenance work if it's if it's bad. If it's got cracks or tore up, you, you know. Move on to a You got to inspect it and you need to really look at it close. Um, but that's what I'm going to first do with this. And, uh, you know, you, you got to remember when it was put away, it might have had multiple problems. <laughs> Plus, from board age, contrary to belief, electronic components go bad with age. On the shelf. Yeah. Yeah. Just sitting there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They go bad. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, most people think that just because these are sealed from air, uh, they've not been damaged by static or voltage um, that they should last forever. They don't. They go bad. They deteriorate uh, for no reason at all. Heck, I've had new components fail. Uh, but this is the common set you'll find in like a Gorgar, Black Knight, um, saucer, some of the other 80s pins, these. Anything with this set of boards in it that's got speech. Yeah, and this board also is used as a standalone, and sometimes you'll find um, this board in a pin without this header on it. It's there, it's it's there, but right. it's not, Yeah. it's not, I have some of those. The, the board holes are here. It's pinned for it, but it's physically not got the header. Um, and then this would be a, a board in a game with no speech. So. They were prior doing those in the mid mid 80s. 
Yeah. Like what's uh what's high speed got in it? That? No, that has another totally different board. No, that, high speed is a system eleven game. Oh, your favorite. Yeah. <laughs> them boards are challenging. <laughs> We we were in trouble when uh, when when the rot rotten dogs didn't have them figured out yet. Yeah. Yeah. For people that don't know what that is, this is a System Eleven board. Is that right? No. I What's that? Megadeth? No. What is it? The band that I listen to. What's it called? The Veil of Maya. And it's like. I haven't heard that yet, but it looks like something I would probably listen to. <laughs> yeah, it's the artwork. It's it? crazy stuff, like. Veil of Maya, Mike. Get to, I gotta check that out. Check that out. I could tell because it's the a cool shirt. Yeah. This is a System 11 board. There were several versions of it. And the basic differences are in this section up here, which is the audio sound section. Mm. Okay. Um, some boards didn't have the amplifier here and didn't have some of these components. Uh, this is a System 11. The 11A board was absent with this. You could populate it. Great Plains makes a kit to take an 11A to this, okay? And then the 11B had less yet, and the 11C had hardly none of this up here. Um, that would be hard to populate. Well, is it because they were separating it out? Yeah, they were putting it out on another board. Because they found that putting it all on one board wasn't working. Yeah, yeah basically it was harder to service. And it was more flexible with what they could do with the sound, building the sound infrastructure in the game. They added sounds that would fit on here anymore. So, uh, like High Speed was an early example, and Pinbot, um, you know, another early example. And the soundboards got more elaborate, and they started looking, uh, well, like this. That's pretty elaborate. This is a, the machine. Variety of Pinbot. Variety of Pinbot. What, what year, Mike? 91? Uh, gotta be. Okay. Well, it was, it, was, it was right there at the end before they switched over to DMD. I think it was 90. Yes, 90. Correct. So that's why they broke it away from uh, here and put it here. Because that wouldn't fit on there. Right. Now, this is not a System 11 game. Yeah, it is. Right, a pinbot is Probably is, yeah. Yeah, okay, never mind. Uh, but the, you get the idea. They started separating it to put more here because they could not fit all of the uh, sound speech on here because this only has two sound chips. Okay, that's why. So they broke away from this and then started doing the WPC, which kept the sound. Um, All right. Well, everybody, let us know. Away if, from it. Let us know if what Ray just said made any sense to you. Um, I wasn't actually listening, Ray. You weren't. No, I'm tired, man. Um, it's blinking. Also, to answer, um, how about it? You got two minutes, man. Okay, I got it. Two minutes will do. Also, to answer Todd, uh, Todd Fun, mm -hmm. about SMD, mm. take a look at the SMD chip right here. Now, try soldering that. Hold on. You just hold still. What, that big green thing? No. Right, no. What am here. I This one. That one? That's an SMD. Try it. I did one once. That's the last time I'll ever do it. See it? That's well, not practical. Sorry. That looks. That does look. Yeah. It's worse than doing one. Pin spacing is less than twenty thousandths. Uh, tell me that you're not gonna. <laughs> no. <laughs> and this is what I'm talking about. If you have an SMD device, good luck. Uh, those things he's getting are much bigger spaced than, uh, all right, they're these. Yeah. Uh, they are these. Okay. Here. You okay. can actually do that, but forget it. This is a motherboard out of a Mega Touch Force, by the way. Throw it out. No, I recap these, and I bring them back, and I make them work. I sell them on the street service calls. Thank you, everybody. We appreciate you. Uh, I assume we'll be back next week with not harm any major tragedies. Thank you. Thank you all for watching. We'll be back soon. with another board episode. Bored. <laughs> I'm bored with boards. I'm bored. so bored with boards. <laughs>
Bye, everybody. Thanks so much.